All right, my jazzy jazzers, we had our junior jazz class and I'm the one who taught it, Miss Andrea. I taught it for you today. Um, Miss Heather will be back um, in future weeks if you take lyrical, which you all do. Um, you all already heard me say that. But we're gonna do some warming up. We're going to, what do we work on today? We work on our pirouettes today. We do some stretching, some conditioning. We do a jazz combination at the end of class. So a whole bunch of cool stuff for you. Um, I hope that you have a good time. You find a nice area. You can even add on to this combination if you decide that it's something that you wanna keep working on. Add your own little flair to it and go to really any type of jazz music, anything upbeat. You know your counts, so you're good to go. All right, enjoy it. All right, we're gonna start off with a full warm up. We're gonna start off with some cardio, get our blood pumping, put some good music on that you like. I'm wearing earphones. So I'm playing music in my ears, it's not totally silent. All right, here we go, start jump, 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 yes. What? Now jump rope. Now, we're gonna step to the side, pull our leg back. Step to the side, pull our leg back, faster. We're just trying to warm up our hamstrings. Two more, one, two. Do some lunges, or sorry, squats. And down, good, and down, good. And now let's hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's come up, and down, and some more. We go down, and up, down, and up, down, and up, down, and up. Back to jumping jacks, up. Jumping jacks go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Punch 
exhale, walk it down again. And drop your hips, but don't let them touch the floor. Arch back. Good, one more time. Back, back, back. Hold it. Good. Walk down, drop your knees. Feet here, and we'll go down into our child's pose. There we go. And reach as long as you can. Reach, reach, reach. So much about your dancing is about how far you're reaching. Now from here, you're gonna take one of your hands and try to reach it across the other one. Reach, reach, reach. Press down into your shoulder. And come back to center. And reach. Now the other side, reach, reach, reach. Reach into that shoulder. Now we're ready to do the next thing. Okay, we're gonna go into a lunge series. Um, it's different than what we've done in class. I wanted to shake it up a little bit while you guys are at home. Um, so exciting, I know, new lunges. So just follow along. Um, we will do this a bunch of times so you'll start to get used to it, okay? You can start as we do in class with whichever leg you like. <clears throat> I'm gonna start over here. We're gonna step down into our lunge. Your hands are on the floor. Really try to lengthen your spine. The back of your back leg, you want to press it up into the ceiling, and your um, supporting leg wants to be in a nice plie. Bend that leg. Long neck, and make sure you're breathing. And exhale. And inhale. Now as we exhale, let's come up and stretch. Up. And hold it. Really stretch the backs of those legs. I'm a little crooked right now. There we go. And make sure you're breathing. Breathe. Long arms, long necks. And whoa, down into our lunge. Really think about all the energy in your legs. Is your leg nice and straight? Are you looking down the floor? Is your neck long? Now from here, we're going to come up. Arms out, and first position, hold it. Breathe, and reach up, and down to that leg. And come up straight. And reach long. Down leg nice and long, nice plie. We're gonna come up again, reach your arms out. First position, belly button in, woo! And reach up, inhale and down. And stretch back. And plie our back leg a little bit. And straighten it. And back down into our lunge. And first position arms. We did for the second this time. And up and down. Now I want you to turn your supporting leg out. Hands down on the floor, elbows down. And hold it. Nice long spine. Good, hands down and straight up and hold it. Good, nice long legs. Now we're gonna sit up. So our hands are gonna come straight up. Our legs are still straight. Arms are for high fifth. I'm crooked, let me face you. So our legs are nice and straight. I'll face the corner. Legs are nice and straight. We're reaching up here. Reach up. And now fifth position. Now we're gonna reach back down to our leg. We're gonna keep our arms in fifth position. Over, over. Really keep those arms in fifth position. Try to balance, lock those legs. Good. Hands back down on the floor. 
clear your back leg, nice plie. And straighten, and back down to our lunge. Both hands down, woo, I need to put my hair up. Back down into that lunge. And we're gonna put our back knee down on the floor. And you're gonna reach back and grab that foot, grab it, grab it, and hold it. Hold, hold, hold. Hold, hold, hold. Big shout out to Maggie Skip for making our channel banner. She made our virtual classroom graphic. Very nice of her. Love you, Maggie. Arm up here and back up into that lunge. Now back up to straight arms, straight arms up. High fifth and over down to your leg. Keep those legs nice and locked, hands back to the floor and hold it. Now we're gonna elevate our back leg and hold it. Drop that heel. Now we're gonna come up, arms up. We're gonna put it all together, arms up. High fifth, down to the floor. Keep those arms in high fifth. Now we're not touching the floor, arms are in high fifth. Can you elevate your back leg? Whoop. Can I do it? Do you wanna get to here? Arms in high fifth, and down, release. Down to your lunge. Good. And put your back knee down, but we're just gonna rest just here. See how I'm like, here. Now, you're gonna put your hands on your front knee, and you're gonna plie forward. Plie forward, you should feel a stretch right, I'm not facing the correct way towards the camera, but towards your off of your back leg. Really sink in there, arms out. Really stretch, and arms up to high fifth, keep those ribs in. And arms out. Nice up and tall, nice up and tall. Hold it tall, nicely up and tall. Stretch over to a doot leg. And now stretch, arch back. Good, and center, arms out. Arms up. And arms down, relax. Good job. Now, I'm gonna insert a clip of that whole thing again. You're gonna repeat it with the opposite leg. Cool? Cool. But don't repeat it again, just repeat it once. Once on each side. Over here, we're gonna step down into our lunge. Your hands are on the floor. Really try to lengthen your spine. The back of your back leg, you want to press it up into the ceiling, and your um, supporting leg wants to be in a nice plie. Bend that leg. Long neck, and make sure you're breathing. And exhale, and inhale. Now as we exhale, let's come up and stretch. Up, and hold it. Really stretch the backs of those legs. I'm a little crooked right now. There we go. And make sure you're breathing, breathe. Long arms, long necks, and whoa, down into our lunge. Really think about all the energy in your legs. Is your leg nice and straight? Are you looking down the floor? Is your neck long? Now from here, we're gonna come up. Arms out. And first position, hold it. Breathe, and reach up, and down to that leg. And come up straight. And reach long. Reach that leg nice and long, nice plie. We're gonna come up again, reach your arms out. First position, belly button in, woo, and reach up, inhale, and down. And 
and stretch back. And plie our back leg a little bit and straighten it. And back down into our lunge. And first position arms. We didn't go to second this time. And up and down. Now I want you to turn your supporting leg out. Hands down on the floor, elbows down. And hold it. Nice long spine. Good, hands down and straight up and hold it. Good, nice long legs. Now we're gonna sit up. So our hands are gonna come straight up. Our legs are still straight. Arms are for high fifth. I'm crooked, let me face you. So we're, our legs are nice and straight. I'll face the corner. Legs are nice and straight. We're reaching up here. Reach up. And now fifth position. Now we're gonna reach back down to our leg. We're gonna keep our arms in fifth position. Over, over. Really keep those arms in fifth position. Try to balance, lock those legs. Good. Hands back down the floor. Plie your back leg, nice plie. And straighten. And back down to our lunge. Both hands down, woo, I need to put my hair up. Back down into that lunge. And we're gonna put our back knee down on the floor. And you're gonna reach back and grab that foot. Grab it, grip. And hold it. Hold, hold, hold. Hold, hold, hold. Big shout out to Maggie Skip for making our channel banner. She made our virtual classroom graphic. Very nice of her. Love you, Maggie. Arm up. Here and back up into that lunge. Now back up to straight arm, straight arms up. High fifth and over down to your leg. Keep those legs nice and locked, hands back to the floor and hold it. Now we're gonna elevate our back leg and hold it. Drop that heel. Now we're gonna come up, arms up. We're gonna put it all together, arms up. High fifth, down to the floor. Keep those arms in high fifth. Now we're not touching the floor, arms are in high fifth. Can you elevate your back leg? Whoop, can I do it? If you wanna get to here. Arms in high fifth, and down, release. Down to your lunge. And put your back knee down, but we're just going to rest just here. See how I'm like here. Now you're going to put your hands on your front knee and you're going to plie forward. Plie forward. You should feel a stretch right. I'm not facing the correct way towards the camera, but towards your off of your back leg. Really sink in there. Arms out. Really stretch. And arms up to high fifth. Get those ribs in. And arms out. Good, now from here, we're gonna slide down into our split. My front foot is so cramped, point those feet. And hold it nice up and tall, nice up and tall. Hold it tall, nicely up and tall. Stretch over towards your leg. And now stretch, arch back. Good, and center, arms out. Arms up. And arms down, relax. Good job. Whew. Now, I'm gonna insert a clip of that whole thing again. You're gonna repeat it with the opposite leg. Cool? Okay, 
We're gonna do some wall stretches. You guys obviously already know these stretches, but we're gonna put some time into this video for you to do them. Um, find any space. You can even do this against a couch. You don't necessarily need it to be a wall. Anything with a flat, um, a flat surface that you could lay your legs against, okay? All right, so Ms. Andrea is gonna do her wall stretches. We're gonna start our clock. Here we go. So we're facing the wall, our legs are out to the side, and we wait. I'm not even facing the camera. We're sitting up nice and tall and just breathing. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And when you feel like it's a little comfortable, push yourself in a little bit more. I have, I have um, one of the recital songs stuck in my head. Push yourself in a little bit more. Every little bit helps. If you don't feel it, you're not stretching. We're halfway there with this one. You can flex your feet, but keep them nice and flexed. Don't have them be lazy feet. Yeah, nice and flexed. I hope you all are having a good day today. Feels weird talking to you when I'm facing the wall. Maybe this is better. It seems so strange having you all night here. We miss you so much. All right, we're getting close here. We have 20 more seconds. Wonderful, wonderful. Almost there. All right, ready? Let's come down, gently come away from the wall. Shake out those legs. Now we're gonna lay flat on our back. We know this well, Miss Andrea has not done this in a long time. All right, so we start with our legs completely together. Let's stop and reset. And we let our legs, legs hang down to the floor. And in this stretch, we'll point our feet. And again, we're gonna hold this for two minutes. And we're gonna let gravity do its job. You'll feel every few seconds, then you'll feel your legs go down a little bit more. Who usually goes right here? I think Lucy usually goes right here. Lucy and Belle. Those feet nice and pointed. I was making mine a little bit lazy. Keep it up, keep it up. 30 more seconds. La da 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 All right, gently bring your legs in, get away from the wall. Now, you can hold either of those stretches, obviously, for much longer, um, and as much as, as often as you can hold them, the better. Um, obviously, you can also do your on the elbow stretch. We're not going to do that one this, this time, but um, work on those two at home. Find a nice spot and keep stretching. Let's work on some balance and some pirouette for um, positioning and exercises for our pirouettes. 
So we are just going to start with a pas de bourree. So I'll actually face this way so that you can hear. So it's our far right foot. We're going to do pas de bourree. We're going to do back, side, front, back. Yeah, two pas de bourree. I don't know why I stumbled over. Let's try that again. Five, six, seven, eight. Pas de bourree. Again, one, two, prep for your turn. From here, we're just gonna come up to a passe on a flat foot, no releve. Passe, hold, hold, hold. And back out to the side. Again, pas de bourree, pas de bourree, and hold. Whoa, this is gonna have no balance today. And out again, pas de bourree, pas de bourree, and hold. Six, seven, eight. Again, pas de bourree, pas de bourree, and hold. Six, Good. Got a little bit better as we went along, which is what we're looking for. I'm going to turn the music down a little bit. So, next we're going to do a same, the same thing on the same foot, but with single pirouettes. Right? Can you see me? Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. We do pas de bourree, pas de bourree, single pirouette, and down. I'm gonna do one facing you, but the same foot. Ready? Watch me spot. Five, six, seven, eight. We do pas de bourree, pas de bourree. Snuff your head out. Seven, eight. Again, pas de bourree, pas de bourree. Single pirouette and down. One more. Pas de bourree, pas de bourree. Single pirouette and down. Yeah. Maybe Miss Andrea should have done her ab exercises before this. But I want you to work on your balance, yeah? So just come from here, reach those arms, come to your preparation, and up, hold. I'm gonna face you, all right? I'm you. I'm gonna face you, I'm gonna do the same side. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Pas de bourree, pas de bourree, and hold. Those arms down. Good. Now let's, I'm going to try a single facing you. Same foot. I'm using my right foot. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. We do pas de bourree, pas de bourree, single pirouette, and down. Okay? Now we're going to talk about spotting. I thought I just saw a door move, but I'm here by myself, so that would have been really weird. So, being at home is a great time to practice your spotting. Okay, so I want you to sit or wherever you are, whatever room you're in, look up at the wall, find some objects, whether you have a picture on the wall, something, right? One of your dance medals, whatever it is. I, in the studio, I'm going to pick my phone. My phone is up on the dock where it usually is. And I'm facing away from my phone, right? My phone is to the side of me. I'm going to take one step towards my phone. Look, I'm looking at it. Take one more step, I'm still looking at it. See how my body shifted? My body is shifting, but my head is still the same. Now from here, my body's gonna shift again. I'm gonna take this foot, look right away. And step, look, 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 straight across. Now the first time I just did that, when I was explaining to you, I actually did something wrong. Probably did more than one thing wrong. But the biggest thing that I did wrong is when I spotted, hold on, let me try to do it again. So when I was spotting, and when I looked to the front, I let my chin go up. We don't want to let our chin go up, okay? We want to keep your chin nice and steady. You don't want to be moving your head, nodding it, like we do in our isolations. You want to keep it nice and straight, like almost like you're moving it across a counter. Yeah, not like thud back on the counter, okay? So let's try this exercise on the left, okay? Ready? We're going to start with our pie right. array. We're going to go up into our balance with no releve. Just think about being nice and tall up in that leg. Ready? Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. We go. Pas de bourree. Pas de bourree. And hold. Six, seven, eight. Again. Pas de bourree. Pas de bourree. And hold. Six, seven, eight. Again. Ooh, my foot. And pas de bourree. And hold. Six, seven, one more. Pas de bourree. Let's try some single pirouettes on that side. So again, I'm facing away from you so you can do the same leg as me. But after we do a few, I'll face the front so you can see the spotting. Okay? Here we go. We're on 
Arms around to the side. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. You do pas de bourre. Pas de bourre. And turn and work again. Pas de bourre. Pas de bourre. Turn and lay on your face here. Now, ready? Pas de bourre. Pas de bourre. Pirouette. And down. Yeah? So let's try the spotting on this side. So, and now I'm facing it. Remember this time I was over here? Now I'm over here. You're gonna look at whichever object you've selected. Remember our chin is gonna go nice and straight like it's on a counter. And we're looking at whatever object we picked, our spotting object. So we're gonna take a step towards it, focus on it, make sure your chin's nice and even. From here, think about what you're gonna do. You're gonna take a step and you're gonna look right away. Step, look. Woo! Step and look. Yeah? Wonderful. Now something that we also always talk about is something that will always help your pirouette is just balancing at home. So whenever you're near your counter, whether you're on the couch, whether you're talking to your mom, your dad, your hamster, your pet snake, whatever floats your boat, you can be balancing. So even if it's just me back up so you can see my feet, even in nice balance in first position, just holding that with all 10 toes on the floor, that's really important. Those are using muscles that help you in all of your dancing. Whenever you're doing your chasses or your triplets, and Miss Andrea is yelling at you to keep your heels off the floor, up, up, up on these, that helps, right? The more you stand in releve or eleve, the more stretched your feet are and the higher that your heels are able to get off the floor. Yeah? We like to see dancers who dance high up on their feet, not dancers who are here because it sounds a little clunky on the floor, especially if we're wearing jazz shoes. Um, okay, good job. Keep working on those pirouettes. Hi guys. We're gonna just do a little bit of a jazz combination to keep you guys warmed up, keep your brains warm, used to learning choreography, all that jazz, okay? So I'm gonna pull up my trusty assistant, which is a chair. All right. So I'm going to face the back so that you can understand what foot I'm using. And I'll close these doors so that it's a little bit nicer. Alright, the cat might walk through. He's not a very good dancer, but um, he'll stay out of the way. Okay, here we go. So you can put on whatever music you want. I'm going to give you counts and we can go through the counts to every motion. We're going to do four counts of eight today. Okay, just to get our brains used to remembering how to learn a jazz dance while we're not all together. Okay, so we're gonna start facing the front. This is my front, okay? So you decide where your front is. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do step, dig, step, dig, pivot, passe, ball change. Those are the words. Step, dig, step, dig, Pivot, step, passe, ball change. Let's try that. We're going to start with our right foot. Five, six, seven, eight. We do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let me back up a little bit, okay? So we're going to step with our right foot first. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to pivot our right foot. Five, six. My right foot's behind me. I'm going to do a passe. Seven and eight. Okay? One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. See how my hands are nice and flexed? We're little cute, cute ladies today. One more time. Five, six, seven, and eight. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, from here, we're going to do a chasse. Chasse, ball, change. Now remember, you should be facing the back now, right? Because I'm facing you. So this is my front. We did one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're facing the back. Passe, seven, ball, change, right, left. We're going to do a chasse. Now we're facing the back. Chasse. We're going to do a pas de bourre with our left foot to face the front again. Pas de bourre. Now we're facing the front. Cool. Let's try that again. From the beginning, facing the front. Five, six, seven, eight. We have one, two, three, 
four, pivot five, to the back, pop in seven and eight. We shall say one, two, pop that right to the front, three and four. Good. Now we're going to do two hip swings. We're going to do five, six, yeah, good touch there. Five, six. Now we're gonna swing our hips. Seven. Yeah, and we're gonna jump together on eight. Eight. So, cool. The last thing that we did, we just did five, six, swing seven, jump together eight. Cool? Let's try it from the beginning. Here we go. Five, six, we're facing the front. Five, six. Seven, eight, we have one, two, three, four, pivot to the back, five, six, passe, seven, and eight. We shall say one, two, pie right to the front, three, and four, we hips, five, six, circle, seven, and eight. How did you do? We're halfway done? Cool. One more time and then we'll keep going. Five, six, seven, eight, step together, step together, pivot, passe, ball change. Chasse, pas de boue, hips right, left, circle together. Cool, wonderful. From here, we're gonna preparation. One, two, we're gonna do a pirouette. We have two counts. We're gonna do, um, you can try a single, I try a double pirouette if you'd like, or just a single. We just did five, six, seven, eight. We do one. Two, we turn three, four. Cool, three, four. We're gonna shimmy to the right. So when we shimmy, we have our elbows in by our ribs and we shake our shoulders. Yeah, just isolate, ooh, a vocab word, in your shoulders. So we just did one, two, turn three, four. Shimmy, five, six to the right, and we're gonna shimmy to the left, seven, eight. Cool. That's three counts of eight. Let's put that all together. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. We have one, two, three, four, pivot, five, six, seven, eight. Shall say one, two, pas de three, four, five, six, circle, seven, eight. Prep one, two, three, four, shimmy, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. From here, we're going to do two pas de rays. One and two. So that was back, side, out, back, front, out. And we use our arms in and out, in and out. We go one and two, three and four. We're gonna do a ball change, right, left. Five, six, bottom out, seven, arm out, eight. So that was bottom out, I'm mirroring you. So you're gonna ball change, right, left, bottom out, right, and both. To end. So the last count of eight is one and two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. So the foot that you bought ma, you step out onto it and give it a little sassy ending. Let's try the whole thing together. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. We have step, dig, step, dig, pivot, turn, passe ball, change. We have chasse, pas de boue, right, right, left, circle, together. Now we have, shimmy, I'm oh, sorry, one, two, turn, three, four, shimmy, five, six, seven, eight. We have potty row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna do it one time facing you on your mirror. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. We have step together, step together, pivot. And passe, ball change the face in the back, chasse, pas de bourre. Yeah, now we swing, 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 circle together. Good. Now we prep one, two, turn three, out four, shimmy five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Now we have pas de bourre. One and two, three and four, ball change in five, six, seven, Good job, excellent work. Very fast, nice little combo. Hope you enjoyed it. Good work. Okay, how did it go? How'd you do with that combination? 
good, I hope. Hope you worked hard, learned a little something, stretched those legs, all that stuff. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye.